Hey, it's a Frank student here, and today I'm going to be showcasing how we can change scenes and stages with JavaFX and Scene Builder. So, personally, this is one of the things I struggled quite a bit with when I was creating my first project, so I decided to create a video to actually demonstrate that it's actually pretty easy if you actually understand how it works. But first, I have a simple uh, JavaFX application running, which allows me, if I run it, in this case just show it pops up, I will remove the constraints of the window size and I have opened my assembly of XML document inside scene builder. So I'll just simply creating a system where I click a button and I change to another scene. So first let's add some some text to tell there was this is scene. Let's just give it a, a number one to show it's scene one and I'm gonna make it quite big. There we go. And I will then just add a button. And I'm just gonna call this button go go next. And on the button I am gonna add an ID. So I'm just gonna call this button as an ID because we're gonna use the button's placement in our program to actually change the scenes later on, or we can use anything honestly, but I'll just be using the button. And then I would do on mouse clicked. I'll just simply have a go next. And this I would save, view, so sample control skeleton, copy all of it, and put it inside my sample, my controller. And then let's first import mouse event. And then let's actually add another window, which you're going to be changing to. So right now, I just have a controller over here and a sample FXML. So and I am going to create another FXML document, which is going to be another stage. So just control Z and again inside control sample, control V. And I'm going to call this one sample one. In this case, and my sample one is going to contain all the same information as my sample right now, but I might actually change the text to be a 2, so we can actually see they're different. And I am as well going to create another controller, which I'm also going to call controller 1. And what's actually quite important is inside my sample 1, I'm going to change the controller it's connected to, which you can see over here. This one is connected to sample.controller1 as well. So now inside my controller, which is my first scene, and we can see it's the first scene, but inside main, we're first loading just sample FXML, which is connected to controller. Then inside controller, I would like to get my stage, current stage, whenever I click a button, and I'll do it by actually getting the button dot get scene dot get window which is going to be the window and I will be saving this inside a stage stage equals to new and we would need to import our stage but right now the problem is this is actually a window however the window class inherits it's connected to our stage class in the big system so what we can do is we can just simply cast it so change it to be a stage so I'm going to type cast it to a stage. So we get the window, the button is in, and we're going to change it to be a stage. So now we have the stage of the button. And we can then, like in the same way as we do in our main, where we do stage.setScene, create a new scene, which contains the root of our sample of XML, which means like the sample of XML and the controller. So I will actually just copy all of this and put it inside my controller. So instead of, let's actually change it up a bit. So right now we're gonna adding an exception. IO exception because we're having some kind of input and output of a file and we're gonna change it to be sample one. And it's not going to be our primary stage we're going to set, but it's going to be our current stage, which is stage. And let's just actually call it stage. 
two. And let's actually call this one stage one. So now if we run the program, you will see we will get the stage one with a button. When I click the button, we will go to stage two. And let's actually on our stage two, which is the sample one. Let's open this one in scene builder and fit to the screen. And then let's actually change this button to be go, go back. And we will, because right now we actually because we copied it, we have the same go next. So actually let's change this to be go back. We would save it. We need to go inside the controller one. And this is we're not gonna be go next, but it's gonna be go back. And we're just gonna kind of copy all of this. And we're gonna change it up a bit. So again, we add the IO exception to our method and we change it so we go back to sample, which is our stage one, and let's just call it stage one as well. So now when we run the program, we go to stage one, we can go next and we get to stage two and we can go back. So now we have created, in this case, a loop, but otherwise you could create some kind of like a, whatever application where you can go from one stage to another, it has some content, you can go to another one, you can go back, and you in this case create like this branches of different kind of uh, stuff your application might contain. But this is pretty much the basic way and it's actually pretty easy when you finally understand that this is how it works, that all you actually need to do is get the stage from a button or it could be a pane or anchor pane or whatever it doesn't really matter but you get the scene you get the window you cast it to a stage and then you just simply again like in main get a root which is like all the content of a stage which is loaded fxml loader the load that get class that get resource at a given fxml document and then just set the title in this stage and load the stage with the scene and our controller is connected to the sample fxml inside our fxml document on the first line which in this case is my anger pane and in this case is the sample controller or you can actually also find it inside a scene builder if you look over here and go under controller tab you can actually change the controller class which is connected to the given scene but you can also do what I did previously, just change it manually. So this is actually how you pretty easily change the scenes and the stages inside JavaFX with Scene Builder in the controller class. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I wish you all a wonderful day.